Who understands yeah. a lot about winning, Jerem? I, I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. our, our next guest. Mm -hmm. Joining us in Studio B, and we are so glad to have her back, Jody Maxfield, longtime Cougarettes coach and the pride of Hillcrest High School. <laughs> Jody, welcome back. You're a, you're a husky. <laughs> I'm a husky. No nice. huskies. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. awesome. <laughs> well, you and you started your dance uh, career in high school. Became a cougarette at BYU in the late yeah. '70s, and have just like sprinted. Why, why you got to date it like that? Sprinted then. She looks fabulous, does yes, she not? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. She's fabulous. Thank you. And, and you guys know the right things to say. <laughs> Thank you. You're retiring, which is I am. big news with yeah. the cougarettes, right? Yeah, I guess you would call that big news. 19 national championships that you have coached. So, yeah, we're, we're going to term that big news that you're leaving the program. <laughs> what, what went into the decision of, okay, 2020 is going to be the final year? You know, I can't say there was any one thing. 30 years is a long time to um, focus on something, and I just felt like it was time to let my family have some of my time. So that's pretty much the decision. When did you decide that after competing and dancing yourself that, you wanted to stay with this. Like, what, what happened? What switched in your mind? You're like, I, I don't want to leave dancing. Yeah. You know, I think I, dancing's in my blood. It's something I've done my entire life. And when I came to BYU and I was a cougarette myself, I fell in love with the program. More importantly, I fell in love with the sisterhood. I felt it. And I came back and did choreography before I was asked to come and apply for the job and then was given the job. And since then, it's just been something that I am really passionate about. I have loved challenging myself and challenging my dancers to see what we could accomplish, you know, how high we could push the bar and lift the bar. I don't know the history of the Cougarettes. Can you describe kind of, okay, back when, what was it versus what it is now? Yeah, the Cougarettes have been around for 74 years. <laughs> so the 50s, yeah. somewhere around 1946 there? 1946 is okay. when they started, 46. yeah. Yeah, and I've been a coach for 30 of those 74 years, so <laughs> that's a lot of years to be a part of that. When are you writing your book? <laughs> when I get a few hours to myself. <laughs> what was it like 30 years ago? Because I, I, I bet it was very different from what it yeah, is Yeah, it was. I mean, you know, it was starting to become more of a dance team. When I was a cougarette, it was strictly marching in formations. I mean, we danced as well, but that was primarily what we did. And when it was first organized, it was kind of something to just give um, young co-eds something to be a part of, to cheer for the Cougars and all of that. So you can see it's evolved greatly since then. I think it has done wonders for the brand of the school and the brand of the religion. Um, yeah. Because when people see the Cougarettes, they go, oh, they one, they can dance. Some yeah. people think, ah, eh, Mormons, they're weird. They're... No, 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 look how yeah. normal we are, right? And <laughs> right. in fact, progressive in terms of, yeah, it's hip hop and it's cool, right? So yeah. when did you decide, hey, we need to be, uh, I guess, progressive and, and, and use popular music and stuff like that. Sure. Um, you know, I think with the um, introduction of competition, we started competing in um, 1996, and we won our first title in 1997. And I think it really has been something that we have seen um, on and or over and over and over again that, you know, we really do represent the very best um, of BYU and of the LDS Church. And who would think that the Mormon school can win in hip hop? And in fact, That's we, what I'm have, saying. we have you six hip hop titles. Perception. Yeah, right? we've shattered perception. Well, yep. and people need to understand something. There are several different levels that you can compete at mm -hmm. across the collegiate dancing. BYU is competing in the top division, the Absolutely. ND. I mean, it is the best of the best. So these national championships, you know, other schools are like, oh, we've won all of these. The, to me, it's like, you know, those aren't as good as the real thing. BYU the You're the Clemson. You're the Alabama yes. of, of uh, that competition, well, right? At what point were you like, we need to be the best of the best, and we're going to compete at the highest level? You know, I think that that's always been my philosophy. I mean, there's, there's no... Um, reason to compete in anything other than the very highest. I feel like we've got the very best dancers. The dancers that I'm blessed to have on the Cougarettes are, they're kind of the same as I am. We have the same types of personalities. We strive to be the best we can be. They want to be pushed. They want to be challenged and, you know, in everything that they do. In fact, we're working right now to win titles 20 and 21 and we've got two amazing routines and the girls are ready they're up to the task 
I don't want to offend any other uh, schools or dance groups, but when they, and we see all of them like at different tournaments and games, when they come out, I go, that's really nice. <laughs> when the Cougarettes <laughs> come so out, spoiled. <laughs> everyone stops and watches. It is yeah. must see uh, for people. I, I guess, uh, how, do you, how do you quantify the pride you take in, you know what, this is a showstopper. When, when yeah. the girls go out, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is. I mean, people look forward to seeing our time out at basketball games. Obviously, our routines with Cosmo have been viral many times over, and um, I think we have more followers than any other collegiate dance team by tens of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we really are liked and followed and watched and, you know, by people all over the world. And it, it's really quite, um, quite special to be able to say that. Now, BYU and the Cougarettes head to Daytona Beach, Florida, to compete for potential titles 20 and 21. Um, but that's not that's not the end no. for, for the Cougarettes or, or for you. I mean, you, you got some big things coming. Yeah. Yeah. Before I retire, we are headed to Daytona Beach to compete at nationals in jazz and hip hop again. So we're hoping for titles 20 and 21. And then we are just um, able to announce that we were, for the second year in a row, selected as the U.S. national team. Last year, we went and competed in the hip-hop division. We took second yeah. behind Japan, who is incredible. And we felt really proud of our placing there. This year, we'll be going in in jazz. So I think it really speaks to how versatile and um, how amazing these girls are, that they can do it all. That's awesome. Congratulations. Representing stuff. the U.S. again. That's yep. awesome. Well, we know that you're going to miss these occasional visits to Studio B. Uh, or you had enough, and that's why you're retired. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm done with that. All kidding aside, uh, congratulations Thank on just you. a fabulous career. Thank it's you so uh, much. It's been an incredible run. And, and I'm serious when I discuss the effect on the brand. I think it's been really meaningful for the church and BYU. Thank oh, you. Well done. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jody. Can't wait to watch. We're booking our tickets to Daytona yeah, in early April. Uh, this just <laughs> in. Uh, ben Bagley, we're going to Florida. Uh, coming up.